Hey YouTube, it is Easy Prepper 101. Today we're going to be talking about diatomaceous earth and my wife is going to be helping me with this video. All right, so this is Mrs. Easy Prepper and what we're going to be using is the diatomaceous earth and basically what it is is it's ground up seashells, like ancient seashells. So it's 100% safe. They actually put it inside like cow's food and all that kind of stuff if they have worms. So it's 100% safe for your plants, it's safe for you, it's safe for your vegetables, all of that. But because it is such a fine powder, they actually recommend that you wear a mask when you are applying it just so that you're not inhaling it because it can just be an irritant to your lungs. So it's not that it's anything bad for you, it can just be an irritant. So the way we're gonna do this is the applicator that comes with it, as you can see, it's a really fine mist, and he's wearing gloves as well. Um, but the applicator comes with it, and if you don't get an applicator, you can pick these applicators up really easily um, online as well. And we'll try to put a link to this Dimatius Earth in the description down below. But it comes with all of the pieces, so it's got the little tip here that's gonna blow the air through that's going to allow it to um, kind of push the air through it so that the little powder goes everywhere. So basically, like I said, what this does is it slices open all of the insects, so then that way they dry out and they die within like 24 hours. This is gonna work on aphids, earwigs, ants, beetles, you name it, it pretty much covers it. So a little goes a long way, so we actually recommend that you just put about a quarter of the amount in there, and then we're gonna screw the cap on. And we're gonna dust kind of the, um, you can dust the plants. We're gonna dust the base of the plants since we're not really having issues yet this year, but we had lots of issues with earwigs, et cetera, last year. We do have some ants this year, um, but basically we're gonna do the base of the plant and then we're also going to do um, the soil just to kind of kill anything that might already be in there. So as you can see, he is dusting the bottom of the plant we're going to coat it really well so he's just going to keep dusting away till we get a little bit of a white coating and then the next time we water or it rains it's going to wash some of it off and that's okay because you want to just kind of get the insects so it's good to do this on a dry day so if it rains like the day after you do it it might be a good idea to come out and reapply but we're just hitting all of these and we're going to also hit the soil around it since we know there's already an ant issue just so then that way it keeps them from the plants. If you saw that there were a bunch of holes on your leaves, you'd wanna actually dust the leaves themselves. So um, I'll have Easy Prepper here show you just dusting the leaves. So you get a little coating on them. So then that way, if the insects were on there, it's gonna keep them off if they come and they walk over it. It's just going to um, slice basically them open so then that way they dry out. And you can do this weekly. It's 100% safe for your plants, safe for you, safe for your pets. You just don't want your pets to inhale it. So if you are applying it, try to make sure that you are um, not downwind while it's trying to blow and maybe put your pets inside so then that way you don't accidentally give them some respiratory issues. Like I said, it's just an irritant. It's not gonna actually hurt them. It's safe to eat, all of that. So we're just gonna dust this through. Hopefully we can get rid of all of these ants and then we can also keep the earwigs away this year. So this is the tomato box and there are definitely some ants in here as well. So we are just going to liberally spray this so then that way we can hopefully get rid of these ants and keep them from coming. And like I said, you can do this weekly. So it's not something that, you know, you have to just do once it's done. I mean, you may not have an issue again, so you might not need to do it weekly, but you can. Especially if you're seeing a bunch of holes in your leaves and something eating it, whether it's aphids or whatever, you can definitely just spray everything so then that way you get a nice coverage and it kills all those bad insects. Okay, so as you can see, we put some pretty liberal dumping of the powder on there. Just because there are some active ants, we wanna make sure we kill those. So at this point, we're going to come back in a couple days and show you guys how it's going and see if uh, there's a reduction in the ants that are in the beds. All right, it has been a week later. Um, we have only out of the little uh, ants that we did have, which I think there was like three or four, we only have one there, one little small one, but the ants are not getting on the plants at all. And it's really doing its job. Now, the reason why we have that one is because we've had so much rain over the last few weeks. It's just, it's crazy. So I'm, you know, I can't put it on every day because it'll wash off, but Compared to where we were a year ago with the earwigs and the bugs, nothing is getting on the plants. So super excited about that. And we'll come over here 
I even put it into the peppers just to kind of protect them. And where are we at with the cucumbers? Uh, this guy we've kind of nursed back to health, which is a really good thing. And to give you an update, you can see the potatoes are really starting to pop. And we have some new one, new potatoes. So uh, really excited about that. Um, there's one new, uh, only a little amp in here, but they are not going on the potatoes, which is a good thing. Even with our tomatoes, these are growing. They are, there's no ants in there. So it's a fantastic thing. And to show you, look how big the squash has grown. It is absolutely insane. So um, I've been checking to see, like kind of sneaking in here. Do I see any ants or anything like that? And I'm not seeing anything, which is a good thing, but we are starting to get buds. And with the squash, we do not have uh, anything in here. The only thing that we're having to do here is because this is getting so much rain, we're gonna add some more dirt, is we're getting these dumb little um, mushrooms that we keep fighting with. So we're gonna get some more dirt, kinda ease it a little bit, but we haven't really been watering this because it's been holding it. And last but not least, the pumpkins have been planted. Uh, we're gonna do a separate video on that, but we have, we had some one or two little ants in here, like right there and nothing's moving in here. So this product works as advertised and I am super excited that we have this. Also, thank you to my friend Travis who told me about this about a year ago and that we now have this. So I'm gonna put in the description, if you want to click on the link in the description, it'll take you right to Amazon if we're able to find this so you can buy it. Uh, when you do click on that link, you log in. Um, it helps me out because I'm part of the Amazon affiliate. It kind of helps me out. So if you guys want to help out the channel by, you know, buying some stuff on Amazon, you know, go in that description, click on any link and it's in any of my videos. It'll help me out because with uh, editing and uh, everything else that goes along with YouTube, uh, much appreciated. And if not, I just thank you for your support and you guys being here and helping out and watching my videos. So definitely... With the whole diet, Termesis Earth stuff is working. I'm super excited about it. And uh, yeah, all the plants are coming in nice and healthy. And um, yeah, so hit in the comments section below if you guys have done or if you guys have ever used this product. Um, like, you know, tell me, did you guys have success or not have success? Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. We will catch you guys down the road.